Okay, we, want, we know that B cells, they make antibodies, and we know that B cells are made in the bone marrow. But what we want to talk about here is how B cells are developed. They start with what is called pro-B cells. Then they go from pro-B cells to pre-B cells. This happens because pro-B cells, they get attached to stem cells in the bone marrow. If they don't get attached to the stem cells in the bone marrow, they cannot move forward, they cannot differentiate, they cannot make B cells. They will always be pro B cells. But because they have this wonderful receptor called C kit, big C right here, I draw a little big C pretending that this big C is actually what happened is it attached to the SC factors in the stem cell. And now this they communicate. When they communicate, it tells uh, the stem cell comes in and, be, and and it tells the pro B cells, you have to make millions, and millions of pre B cells. Pre B cells, I just made it look like a little B with the little cap on top. So these are all the six you see right here. They're all pre B cells. And these pre B cells, there's millions of them. I just cannot draw millions, obviously, but um, they have receptors on top of them. And these receptors that are waiting for food, and this food is ligands. These ligands are made also by the stem cell. So the so that the ligands are going to go into the receptors in the pre B cells, and tells it to make B cells. The B cells that we know that makes the antibodies. So these receptors are called interleukin seven, number seven. Okay, and. Uh, the ligands, the chemicals that is going to attach to it, to the receptors, as soon as they attach to the receptors, it tells it, okay, it's time for you to differentiate and move forward and make the B cell. Now, B cells, they're going to have uh, immunoglobulin on top of them. The most popular one that naturally we have in our body is IgM. And obviously, you just see one on top of the cell, but the truth is you have millions of them on top of each cell. You have like a lot of, and uh, this is just a small introduction of what's going on in this uh, in the development of B cells. Thank you.